me a second while I have a day Thank you for joining us today. Today we're going to be talking to a female artist and what's so special about her is that she's a Tamil female artist, comes from a South Asian background, comes from a very patriarchal thinking community, but she is achieving a lot. And she's already released two albums and been in the industry for 10 years. So I'm going to ask her about her struggles today and I'm going to ask her how the community is supporting her and about her fans and about her upcoming projects and so many fun things. Lady Pista, welcome. How are you doing today? Good. I'm doing amazing. How are you? I'm doing really good. Thank awesome. you for joining us. So no problem. talk to us about your journey. You're an artist for 10 years. What else do you do and how did you come into the art world? Um, now, when you say 10 years, it actually started as, as a hobby. So okay. I started when I was 17. I started mm -hmm. DJing, uh, DJing music, and then I started producing and then singing my own music and now I write and you know kind of jack of all trades type stuff um, so it's been a process I never knew that I wanted to do music it was just okay. simply something to actually uh, kind of you know like when you're going through things you don't really if you if you don't have anyone to go through you that that's your outlet so mm -hmm. music was an outlet for me okay. so that's how everything started and that's kind of how it started my journey I'm going to get to the raw stuff here. You're uh -huh. a female artist coming right. from a very patriarchal thinking community. Okay. And being in the media, I understand how hard it is because when you go into the entertainment industry and when you're a female, there's already a stigma attached to it. And there are so many other barriers and restrictions that come with it. What, how has your journey been? Um, in terms of the entertainment industry, Obviously, I think any industry when you're a female, there's there's a little bit of like stigma to it, like you yeah. said, right? Mm -hmm. Anything there yeah. is, right? Even though we're advanced at the same time, yeah. there's there's a little part of the human kind that kind of downplays how human, I mean, how yeah. females actually are. Yeah. So in terms of inter entertainment business, I think for me, what's what actually helped me is that even though like a lot of people talk the talk, they don't walk the walk. Yeah. I can walk the walk. So Good. I think that's what it is with me. Like I'm not, I, I can sit here and tell you this is what I do and this is how long I've done it for. Yeah. But when you see me, you see what I can actually do. Okay. So I think that shuts everyone off. Mm -hmm. So, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly yeah. it. You just have to be bold. You just have yeah. to bring it when you have to bring it. Because yeah. if you don't do that, yeah. then what exactly are you representing? Mm -hmm. And you have to be 10 times as strong mm -hmm. yeah. as an, an, a normal individual to be yeah. in this industry, right? Because yeah. mm -hmm. you really, you really, that, that's not going to get you anywhere. Yeah. You have to be pow in your face yeah. and... That's what I am. Let's talk about your family. How did they deal with when you decided to go into the entertainment industry, be under the public eye, in front of the camera? Like, are they, are they um, very strict family, or how uh -huh. did your parents take it? They just wanted to, like, shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> they were just like, oh, man, did I really give birth to you? <laughs> just because my parents are very reserved. They're very uh -huh. traditional, and um, they're just kind of... Um, I think they did the best they could. I have mm -hmm. an older sister as well, uh, as what, you know, how they can bring us up. But yeah. we are very extraordinary kids born to an ordinary family, if that yeah. makes any sense. Yeah. So um, I think that was the battle because we literally, uh, we had to raise ourselves. Let's talk about the communities. Mm. I know that when, it, like, well, let's go back to the Western world when it comes, when Hollywood takes over because the community, they just support the artists there. And Canadians, we look up to them. And just right. like when it comes to the Eastern uh, Indian industry, India takes it. I mean, they're amazing in the cinema industry and all that stuff. And a lot of South Asians kind of look there or copy that kind of thing, right? Mm. How do you think the South Asian community here in mm. Toronto can support their local artists? Like, where do you think that they can step up the game and be like, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to support my local artist. I think honestly, it starts with the fan base, right? Okay. And like, if I think if people actually open their ears up yeah. to actually independent music, mm -hmm. I know everyone's bombarded with the commercial stuff yeah. that's going on on the radio and everything, and it's all structured. Yeah. You know, if you look at 
a person's mind, mm -hmm. right? It's catered to brainwash you. So yeah. obviously you're going to like it because yeah. you don't even know you're liking it. Yeah. Unless mm -hmm. you can break out of the box and be like, yeah. okay, I really don't like this mainstream stuff. I like more creative stuff. Yeah. So if you look at an independent artist, they're very raw. Yeah. They're very yeah. raw. Like their music is so raw because it comes from their soul. It comes from their mm -hmm. heart, you know? So I think it's sad because I know there's a, there's a lot going on right now where people don't really look inside themselves yeah you know we have social media where it's just like okay let's just put a picture up and this is this is the person that i want to be let's yeah. just let's just this is who i am mm -hmm. let's in, let let instagram tell the world who i am <laughs> yeah. yeah that's not who yeah. you are come on that's not yeah. who you are yeah that's not who you are do you put a picture up of your own vulnerable state no you don't yeah. do that so um it's fake mm -hmm. It's fake. So if you look at actual independent, real artists that are actually doing it, mm -hmm. and if you open your eyes up, you yeah. will see a different world than what you've ever experienced. And that's one thing that I always tell people, give people a chance. Yeah. Anyone. It doesn't matter if you're in music. It doesn't matter mm -hmm. if you're, you know, a photographer or a videographer or whatever mm -hmm. the case is, you know, being creative is an expression of yourself. When there is an international celebrity or international um, artist who's here, yeah. everyone's running. Everyone everyone's yeah. running. Yeah. And uh, the, if there's a local artist performing or there's a local show happening, like you have to pull teeth, mm -hmm. right? And that's something with, um, with Mandra where I wanted to focus on interviewing local artists. Right, like right. what are your struggles? I mean, if you have a kid, you're not going to put the kid on a plane and send to India for like music classes Saturday, Sunday mornings. It's our local artists that are teaching our kids. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, they are the ones that, you know, we need to be supporting because mm. your kid is going to be a local artist, not an international artist. Yeah, right? yeah, for sure. Um, so definitely, like, you know, you being authentic and real and talking about this, uh, it, it really helps a lot because there are so many females, young females out there who want mm. to go into this industry. But, you know, it helps them when they see someone local being out there. And All right. So let's talk about something um, fun and personal. Okay. Um, <laughs> entertainment industry, women in entertainment industry, when you're finding a partner, there's always this thing like either they're jealous <laughs> or they're like, they love what you do, We're but they want to. <laughs> yeah, it's love girl it. talk. <laughs> they, they either love what you do or love what you do and jealous, or they love what you do and they want you to leave it because now they want to settle down. Have you experienced that or anyone else in the art industry that have experienced that? And what is your approach to that? Because a lot of girls are thinking about that stuff. Yeah, I mean, like, I think you have to come to a point, like everyone experiences that, to yeah. be honest. If you're in this industry, you need a partner that is actually very confident within the self to be like, okay, I know the, who this person is. Yeah. I know they're going to be loyal. I know they're going to, you know, yeah. uh, they, they love me and I love them. And like, yeah. very confident in, themsel in themselves. Yeah. Um, if you don't have that, it's very hard. It mm -hmm. is very hard. And I think you need to come to an understanding that you just need to be yourself. Yeah. If anyone's going to love you and accept you for who you are, they're going to be attracted to you. Yeah. Hands down. Mm -hmm. If you're going to be something that you're not, then mm -hmm. you know what? You're going to attract someone that's not for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's my biggest it advice is. because I think uh, for a very long time, I wasn't myself. Yeah. You know, I think you can relate too. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Us, yeah. You know, you can relate too. And like now that you're out of your shell yeah. and now you're doing it and you're you, you need someone that's just on that same level as you. And why would you even want someone lower than that? Yeah. So let's uh, hear some tunes and we wish you all the best with your upcoming projects. Awesome. And, um, and we hope to see you again very soon. What's up, it's your girl, Lady Pista. And I'm about to sing, you guys. Uh, watch out for this slash. Jeans, Haida Haida. It's a collaboration of reggae meets Tamil music. And I hope you guys like it. And it goes a little something like this. Pull up, pull up. Sound to bounce on me, place up full up. Sexy girl, me, I can't get enough. Can't look at them, pawn head, that my love. A murder when me stepping out of the clubs. I like to turn it up and out of the sun. Music bounce on me, lyrics be done to me. I agree, sent from above. Me tell them what job it is. I did my dash lyrics. My shot, the place, put your hands up for this. You, man, I miss number one pondy list. The girl, them, my twist, waistline, can't resist, I say. 
Watch out for this, I need my desk lyrics. Watch out the place, put your hands up for this. You made a miss, now my one panelist. Watch out the place, watch out for this, hide a bar. Watch out for this, how to hide a bar. Watch out for this, hide a bar. Hide a, hide a, hide a bar. Hide a, hide a, hide a bar. 50 kg Taj Mahal in a key in a car Fly to London and the Vernum in a key in a car Hide a hide a hide a bar Hide a hide a hide a bar Mutta Malayan and Indigalama Kundal Kundit or Tigalama Watch out for this hide a bar Watch out for this, how to hide a bar. Watch out for this, hide a bar. With my child, I watch out for this. I did my dust lyrics. My shut the place, put your hands up for this. You and I miss number one panelist. The girl on my twist, waistline can't resist. Say, watch out for this. I say my dust lyrics. My shut the place, put your hands up for this. You and I miss number one panelist. Watch out the place.